Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you my basic foundation routine. I obviously have no makeup on right now. Usually I do my eyes first, um, and then my foundation, blush, brows, lips at the end. Um, but today I just thought I would start with a blank canvas just so you can see everything in really great detail. Um, you're probably wondering why I have these stripes here. So we're actually just going to start with a basic lesson on how to figure out what color foundation you should wear. Um, a lot of times when you go into a, a department store or something like that, they'll match you here on your jawline, which is not a bad way to do it, um, but down here a lot of times, if they do it here, it's lighter. Up here is typically lighter, and down here on your chest is typically darker. So you want to look at where to match things, and if you're doing things like photos, you definitely want to make sure that you don't look beheaded. So you're going to have like a really light foundation here because your skin here is lighter than here. You don't want to do that. Um, so I want you to match here. If you go into a department store and you have them match you, have them do it on your collarbone. Definitely a better place to look. So you can see I have three different colors here and I swiped them but I didn't actually blend them out. So what you want to do is blend them down just a little bit further and see which one disappears. So you can see right now this one is a little bit too light. This one almost disappears into my skin. And this one here is a little bit too pink, um, ever so slightly. So honestly, I probably could blend these two colors together and get maybe the best color. Um, but for my purposes today, because I'm not teaching you how to blend color, this is the one that I'm going to use, this one in the middle. So I am using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup here. And I'll just show you what I usually do is I just put a little bit on my skin. I put it right underneath my eye here in a triangle shape. Just work it down a little bit. This is like my everyday most basic foundation. Work a little bit onto my nose. And I do a couple, like almost like a starburst on my forehead here and a little bit on my chin. You should probably note I'm not a person that wears a ton of foundation. I prefer it to look like my skin, so I'm never going to have a huge mask on unless I'm on stage or on camera for something. Um, the next step is I will take a, not a beauty blender, these ones are from Graftobian I think, which is a stage makeup, um, and you can see the size difference. This one here, this pink one, is dry. This yellow one is damp. And when you do that, you want to dampen it and then squeeze it out, wring it out really good, wring it out with a paper towel after that, or a towel, just to remove all the excess moisture. And then I just tap this, kind of blending it all into the skin as much as possible. And the dampness in the, in the sponge allows for it to remove excess makeup. So you won't have that cakey face look. It just takes everything away that shouldn't shouldn't be there. Um, sometimes we can get a little heavy handed on foundation application. So you can see this is pretty easy. I mean, simple, quick. I actually don't take a ton of time on my makeup every day. If I do, it's really an eye focused look. Um, we're not going into that right now. Uh, so anyway, beyond that, if I wanted to add concealer, I would do that. So I'm just going to, I'm, I forgot to grab a concealer, so I'm just going to take a little foundation here. And how I would do that is just, again, making a triangle, but just a little bit smaller one. And I'm going to use my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. It's an F64. And I tap that again. Working. And even just with that little bit of coverage, you can see the difference underneath my eyes. So just adding another thin layer of concealer, uh, sorry, foundation there. And then if you've watched my concealer video, you know we set from the outside in. So I'm going to immediately set that concealer with that same brush. I'm just going to brush the excess onto my lid space. And then if I was going to be using a powder blush, I would powder my whole face and set everything right now. 
Um, if I was using a cream blush, I would put the blush on first and then the powder, which you probably saw in my blush video. So anyways, um, that is my basic everyday foundation routine. I don't do anything really crazy. Um, we can get into that another time, but this is what I recommend to most people for daily wear. You'll notice I didn't use a primer. Um, I use a sunscreen instead that has kind of a sticky consistency, so my makeup sticks really well. I also don't have crazy oily skin. Um, I'm pretty balanced, so I don't really worry too much about my makeup sliding. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the box below, and don't forget to subscribe to my videos. We'll see you soon.